I hate to admit, but the life of the twist would not be as colorful as it was originally planned. His restlessly wandering around at different places and solely focused on his childhood traumas. He's completely unresponsive to the outer world and strongly refuses to have any connection with any individual. He, of course, doesn't always stay at home, but as due to his mental illness in particular, he feels a need to escape from possible visitors or human contact that can be emotionally draining for him. As is visible from the wounds and bruises on the significant areas of his body, he's not only mentally but also physically destructive. His traumatic childhood has left him with an unrepairable damage that causes him unbearable stress and anxiety on his day-to-day -day life. His unidentified mental disorder, which is schizophrenia, isn't getting it better as the days pass. Oliver, unable to control his illness, keeps dragging himself down into his childhood memories instead of seeking help from other people or consulting a doctor. Metaphorically, he covers his eyes to the pure reality, which explains why his illness gets tempted much more often every other day. He is now totally unable to concentrate on the real-world occurrences, being overly under the influence of his retrospective brain that only stored a part of his life, but not the all. He eventually finds himself as a private detective, imagining to help a woman find her lost child just to discover the lie he's always been telling to distract himself from the miserable truth. In this concept and my manner, the word lost is used to give a cryptic message to the watcher. The woman's child is lost as it's normally understood and along the way Ola tracks down every single hint that gives him a possibility of finding the child. Just to realize that he's been the lost child after all. Considering that even our thoughts are likely to be influenced by our unconscious minds, likewise, humans are naturally characterized with having a sense of déjà vu. There's a strong coherence in the use of that sense within my unfavorable ending. Besides, it wasn't heavily implied but for everyone's knowledge, the reason why he got himself twisted to a detective is not only a matter of mystery, but in fact, it's absolutely in another pure reflection of his mental disorder that is entirely caused and gradually exacerbated since he was a child. Finding out the desperate state of himself that's now eternally asleep laying on the ground was a scene in order to show the sincere reaction from Oliver's health perspective who finally became a liberated astral body. I feel like if I ever go back home Something really bad is going to happen to my family. Even as a child, I always afraid to go to playgrounds. What happened to everyone I love? Sometimes I hear the sound of clock ticking. Not knowing where it's come from, but I cannot move. I'm frozen. Minutes pass, feeling like hours, and there is this big house completely wrecked. Me goosebumps every time. Frightens me to my core and fills my brain with insecurities. My memories, where are they now? I feel the warmth inside me and then an instant fear blocked my mind. Do I even have a family? Is it weird to talk to myself? There is either demons outside or the ones inside trying to kill me. I am hungry. I feel lost in this forest. Why do my family not take care of me? Nowhere is safe. What's the sound? I have to check every single room and corner before sleeping. Who is that? Nothing and no one feels real ma anymore. Everyone is an actor and the world is a sham. What did she say? Her what? Lost child? Okay, I will help you. I will help you find your lost child. Is this? Is this me? How could I not realize that? 
I will lost my sanity and for what I have finally won my independence my freedom I was manipulated by my hallucinations so much that I lost myself my body decayed in the wake of my delirious mind yet here I am no longer lost